So this video shows you how to scrub a file using Microsoft Word. Um, I am a big believer in doing this. I, when I import files into, my, into InDesign, I like to try and reduce them to what I think are just the sort of critical textual elements. And I throw out a lot of the formatting that's in a Microsoft Word document. Um, sometimes it's things like in this document, you can see that it's double spaced and bringing in a double spaced page or, or article into InDesign is not always great because it will kick out more pages than you actually need because your typesetting is usually going to be tighter than that. Um, as well as that this, uh, this author is doing some inconsistent things like using a tab to set off the first paragraph and not tabs in the other ones. Um, they're double spacing after periods, although there's some other ones in here where they've actually triple spaced after the periods. And I'd like to standardize a lot of that stuff. And Microsoft search and replace inside of Word is the way that I normally go about doing that. So um, I've given you a list of directions, scrubbing a file in Word, and the first thing it talks about converting the document to single space. And the easiest way to do that, I do um, either um, Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac. And then I go up, and in this version of Word for the Mac, I pull down from Format to Paragraph and set my line spacing to single and apply that. Um, your version of Microsoft Word, if it's on a PC or even a different Mac version, may be different, but you get the idea of what I'm going for here. Now, this story actually had little micro scenes in the beginning, so these are intentionally, these extra paragraph returns are actually here for a reason, so I'm going to leave those in the document. Um, Next thing on the little checklist here, it says um, sometimes you want to eliminate Word's helpful indentation settings. Um, well, actually, it talks about tabs and helpful indentation. So let's look at those. So for example, here, the author, the author is setting the paragraph off with a tab. And I'd like to eliminate those tabs and just have everything left justified. Um, to do that, I can go into, again, search and replace. Uh, on the Mac, I'm going to do it this way by clicking on the little symbol that's up there and I have to put in a special character to find all of my tabs and on uh, the Mac and on the PC also it's um, carrot T when you're using Microsoft Word. Now replace with, I'm actually going to replace with nothing. I'm just going to leave that blank and hit replace all and it eliminates all tabs from the document. Now these sort of things can be dangerous if you have tabs in there you want to preserve but in my case I want to I want to get rid of all of them. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and left justify all of these paragraphs. Um, they're indented and I can do them one by one, but that gets a little tedious to have to do it that way. Instead, I'm going to do uh, Control A or Command A again. And I go up to the ruler and it's grayed out because the different paragraphs have different settings here, but I'm going to grab the first line indentation marker and drag it over. It doesn't matter to where and then drag it back to zero and that will reset all of my paragraphs to be left justified. And I prefer doing it this way um, because then I know that there's no indentation in what I bring into InDesign and then I go, once I bring the document into InDesign, I apply my paragraph styles or apply my paragraph settings and create my indentation. Um, the next thing on here it talks about um, double and triple spaces. In a professionally typeset document, you generally only have one space after a period. Authors will often put in two, especially if they're from the typewriter age like I am. Um, it's tedious to go and replace them all, so you can again use a replace function in your word processor. Uh, instead of doing control T here, I'm going to put in two spaces by hitting my spacebar twice, and I'm going to replace them with a single space. And I'll do replace all. Um, now there's actually, there were some triple spaces, so you can see that some double spaces still exist in this document, so I'm going to replace all again, and I still have to do it one more time to get rid of all of them. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. And then let's see, it talks about um, sometimes articles will, or you know, a manuscript will use dumb quotes. It'll have, uh, they didn't have smart quotes turned on and if you want to replace those all you have to do is do a search and replace um, and same sort of thing except this time um, 
my word processor has the smart quotes turned on, so I just replace all quotes with quotes, which seems a little redundant, but what it will do is if there's a dumb quote anywhere, it will fix it for me automatically. Um, and I can do the same thing for apostrophes. I can replace all any dumb apostrophes that are in uh, the article with a smart one, and it'll fix all of that. Um, <clears throat> EM dashes are another one. Um, it's just a personal preference of mine. I like to fix those in the Word document before I bring it over. Um, again, I use a search and replace. In this case, I use two dashes because that's what this author is using. And I'm going to replace those with uh, the EM dash. And here you have to know what the keystroke is. In a PC, it's Control Alt Dash. It has to be the dash on the number pad. Um, on a Mac, like I'm using, it's um, Shift and the Option key, and then the dash gives you the EM dash symbol. And so I do a replace all, and it fixes all of those. Um, and then let's see what other ones. Um, Replacing line feeds with hard returns is another one that sometimes you'll see authors will sometimes, instead of having paragraphs returns, will have a line feed character. I'm getting this on the Mac by holding down the shift key and doing enter. And generally line feeds are not, so, you want to, they're, they're different characters and they result in different things when you start working with an InDesign document, but I'll talk about that more in another video. So you would want to replace um, line feeds with paragraphs and you do that by replacing a caret L, lowercase l, with caret P to fix any of those. You might need to fix EN dashes um, in the document as well. And then, you know, when you have all this done, I would um, save it as a new document, not as the one that you were doing, but um, call it some other name so that you can always fall back to your original document. But now you have a document that will import into InDesign fairly cleanly. Um, it <clears throat> just minimizes the problems that you have to deal with. Um, so if you could uh, try and scrub some files using some of the, the little checklists that you have in the document that I've sent you.